You know, they say there's one word to describe every person, right? I guess whimsical. Beautiful. I'll say electric. Or glamorous. I would say optimism. There's a lot of motion, there's a lot of frequency. She vibrates on a very high frequency. Always looking for the silver lining in the cloud. Like like a this tornado of like a vortex. Do you want to introduce? No, I just want to make sure that everyone knows I'm not an old cat lady. This is my reason for living. I'm um, a young cat lady. As an actor, you have to move where the work is. And moving from Winnipeg, where I had a very, very strong, strong network of friends and family, it's hard. It's very hard. It's hard. But what drives you is the, is the passion and the conviction that this is what you want to do. This is what I want to do. I want to act. But there is such a thing as love. The film industry is like, um, I'm always amazed. 30 years later, I get on a set and I go, oh, my heart stops. Because it's like a beehive or an anthill, if you imagine, where there's just chaos mystery, wrapped in enigma, chaotic like a tornado, whirling around you, and then all of a sudden, someone screams action, it goes whoosh, dead silence. They film a scene, cut, the chaos starts again, and a month, or I mean, what am I saying, six months or a year later, you go, this is what we did. Look, I'm watching it. Fletcher. Hmm. What happened to him after he quit? We kept in touch for a few years. And then his sister Laura, you remember Laura? She had a son, died of leukemia. He was only 12. She never got over it. After that, he dropped off the map completely. There are two reasons I left Hollywood. Um, one, because I did not want my daughter to grow up in Hollywood with no family around her. In her 94, she was three and a half, and we uh, in Los Angeles had the biggest earthquake, one of the biggest earthquakes that Los Angeles has ever had. And she was on the third floor, I was on the second floor of this townhouse. And at four o'clock in the morning, the whole house started to shake as if a giant had picked it up and turned it upside down and was shaking it. And running up the stairs, I couldn't get to her room and I almost lost her. And it's amazing that uh, mother instinct that you get of uh, superhuman. You just become a super, superman woman. I pushed the door down, got to her, wrapped her in my arms and ran over broken glass in my bare feet. But those are the two reasons. After that happened and I lost a lot of stuff and it didn't matter. None of it mattered, except that I got my baby girl out of the house. I'm just making sure everything is okay. Unless you cannot breathe without being in the film business, in the entertainment business, do not go into it. It is too hard, it takes too much of a toll on yourself, on all your relationships. Uh, it screws with your head. Um, it's really uh, one of the hardest professions, I think, for anyone to go in. You have to be rock solid. You have to believe in yourself. You have to have the faith. It's not an easy gig, guys. It's not easy. But if you have talent and you are passionate and tenacious, the rewards, for, there's no greater job in the world as far as I'm concerned, as being part of the entertainment business, the film business. I think she has tenacity, and I think she um, went, went the distance, and I think it, it took a lot of guts. Acting is kind of, if you're gonna do that for your career, it's kind of like a full-time 
It's not just something, it's not like a day job, you know? You're acting as your kid and your wife and your husband and your family. And um, it's kind of like uh, the values like a regular person in life, like your family and, and your kids and stuff become what your job would be and your job kind of becomes your life. If you're passionate about something um, and you love what you're doing, you don't work. Uh, so that's it. If I could describe myself in one word, what are today, right now, in this moment? Happy. This face is all I've got right now. Okay? <laughs>